Hey guys, and welcome back to Zombie City, where I have been working on some of the very small, fine details whilst I have been away. I've kind of worked on little bits like this. I feel I've kind of done well here, but I don't know, it's... it's it's feeling a little crowded, but you would expect that, right? You would expect that. It would just be a whole load of stuff fallen on the floor. I've also done this sort of arrangement further out. You know, the whole uh, mis um, mismatched textures down in the floor. That seems like quite a good way of just kind of lending a little bit of variety to the floor. You see, I've kind of brought this out. This also feels very, very bulky. We might knock that out. And this, ugh, let's, let's not even talk about it. I, I think that my uh, the way I build fountains, I need to work very differently. I, I need to have a, a, a back wall to it and then have the water spilling out the wall into this little trough here. Uh, and it, that sort of design doesn't really lend itself to this sort of freestanding monstrosity that I have built here. So if anybody has any ideas on how to make a better fountain, a freestanding fountain no less, then I would be very grateful. I mean, like, we could do some command block wizardry where we like spawn and remove a block of water up here and then build something that looks Looks vaguely pump-like. I, I don't know. But let's talk about this, shall we? This is some, what I have been working on recently. Uh, I've, I really like the feel of it down here when I'm just kind of walking back and forth. It kind of being revealed from the back of that building there. It's so, so nice. Slightly ruined by the fact that I can see all the way through. But I need to put floors and stuff like that. But this, of course, is my next building. We're working on a hotel here. And I think this is going to be a lovely little entranceway here. We're going to have a nice reception area nicely lit up of course here and I think we're gonna have the way up and down being in this little jutty out bit that we've got on the side here let's uh, let's take a look from the outside so you can see basically what we've got is a big rectangle in the middle with another rectangle stuck on the side and then this weird semi-circular device going along this side I kind of like it this is a bit too um to see through a bit too too many holes in the design as you can see See here but I, I think that's gonna work itself out when I start building the rooms because obviously you know hotel we're gonna have a lot of rooms in here including the ones right at the very top now the ones at the very very top they're gonna be a bit more extravagant than any of the others kicking around I think this floor and the one below it will have this balcony and then these two floors up here and I might even throw a third one on um, can have this balcony here which has got a lovely little swimming pool this is just like playing around with ideas this is by no means the uh, final form. It's far too clean, far too nice, far too uh, straight and boring. I mean, that's that's basically what's going on there. Is is very very boring. So what's gonna what's the layout of these gonna be like? Well, blatantly up to about here, we're gonna have standard tiny. Um, hotel rooms L little things there you can just go up and in a smattering of you know maybe one out of ten will have something nice to loot maybe i don't know maybe three or four things on each floor i'm, I'm not sure exactly what we want to do there as i say we're going to need some stairways going up and down and a little reception uh, area i think like here Seems like a good place. That's not quite the direction I wanted it to curve, though. I've just noticed that it's very dark in here. I've got torch on my bar, so let's bam, let's put those down and light this area up. I mean, that's that's good, right? Now this is a massive open space over here because the the reception is not going to take that much room up. In fact, you're probably going to end up having a bit of a wall coming down this way, separating this area off. Now, what what's going to happen here? Well, what do you find in hotel rooms in the middle of cities? For starters, you find a restaurant in the back. I'm almost certain of that. Just some horrible little canteen that services the number of people going on here. So maybe we'll uh, dig in here, uh, back this way, put in some sort of kitchen. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But on this face, I am definitely feeling a slight commercial element. I can see, like like we've got this little segmented bit down here. I'm feeling something very similar for the end of this way here. Cause you get this in almost all cities. On any tall buildings, you've got this sort of flary out bit that takes up almost all the space. And then, because of all the foot traffic going past, shops want to buy them. So I feel like we can get maybe... Maybe even five, definitely four in that way. I kind of want to do an odd number, though. I feel like an odd number is going to work out better. And then we need to somehow mark this as a stairway or maybe pull this out. But we've got to get up to this level over here to make this uh, building make a little bit more sense. 
Anyway, that's a whole load of stuff that I said I need to get on with. I, this entire episode is going to be about this building here. Also, implementing some small quests and stuff. Obviously, we've got our uh, scavenger family up here. Which, which floor are they in? These guys? Yes, these guys here. So I'd like to actually, in this room here, this one with the signs on the wall, I think this is the one where I want to put a quest in. Needs a thing from a place. Like, over there. It's going to be needing something from one of those over there. Maybe we'll... Um, Introduce a key card system that that would be pretty good. Let's jump in here like this great Because then we could have a key card system on the doorway in the back much like hotels actually do Letting you into the stairway and stuff like that. Okay Well, I, I think the first thing I'm gonna address is what the what the rooms look like So give me a moment to work and I will be right back I do I do love the way these two buildings interact. I may have no mentioned that to you guys before. So I have a little bit more of an idea of what is going on here. You can see we've got a little reception area on the go. We come up to some sort of desk space. I'm not going to stop using the word area. Over here we're going to have a restaurant laid out. I think that's quite nice. Back here, elevator going upwards. Uh, we're going to have like a door, uh, a wall, sorry, going across here and then like a patron only doorway so you can uh, only go through if you've booked a room and have the key card, something like that. And uh, around here we have spacing for a few shops. I've been throwing down some ideas. Maybe we'll have a particle shop there so you can get like a trail of some description you know, 100,000 zombie deaths or something like that. Uh, music shop, so you can get some music playing. I'm not sure exactly where we go with that. Maybe we're going to give out discs to put into the various jukeboxes that will be around the place. Or maybe we'll, like, sell the command to listen to some music. I, I don't know. And I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with uh, this one. So it's, um... Yeah, it's going pretty, pretty well. I've done a little little thing here. I've thickened this line up to bring it into line with this edge. Because I kind of I like the way that it carried on down here. But that does make this a little flat. So I'd like to ask you your guys' opinion. I've done I've gone all the way out on this side, and then if we come all the way over here, we go one back. And I'm not sure which one is better. I mean we could technically come down like that so maybe maybe this is option c because i'm going to try and put a pole in uh the thing if you look sort of up there somewhere top right there should be a little card opened up asking you guys which one you think is better a where it's just chunky all the way uh b where we have a thin down all the way or c this new stepped one which now that i'm looking at it i i don't think I like. Uh, so yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. But this elevator, uh, it's quite nice. It's a design by Il Mango. I thought it was really good and super on for what I need. I could have made a design like this myself, but there is no way I would have compacted this down anywhere near as much as this. I mean, like, look at this. What's, it, what's, what's this about? I mean, honestly, there is some black magic on the go here, but that enables it all to be nice and compact. I mean, mostly it makes a lot of sense. It's all like you press this button here, it triggers uh, a chain reaction around this way, which fires all this stuff off. It, it does all kind of make sense, so you can follow it through. I just never would have been able to make one myself, as demonstrated by the fact that this... Uh, if I come in and play push up, it's amazing. The doors close. I sometimes get pushed through the floor. It's not very often. It seems to only be when I'm in creative. But as that block might give you an indication here, uh, yeah, I've, I've I've obviously done something wrong. I don't know what it is I've done wrong. I have checked that uh, tutorial three times. I even have the world download. Let's get out of here. If I go to single multi-level platform, uh, multi-level ele elevator, sorry. We can even come into here. Like, this is the one that I've been looking at. We, we, ooh, ooh, I'm in spectator mode so that I can tell you what's going on uh, and this comes all the way up and this is how I can really tell I've done something wrong listen listen closely you hear all those clicks what's all that about yeah I, I don't know I've even started cutting away sections to try and see what's going on but still I appear to have done everything right so I'm gonna have to resort to drastic measures I think 
So, Desperate Measures have turned out very interestingly indeed. So you can see that what I have done is literally just ripped the... Well, I ripped the schematic out because that's how MC Edit works, it turns out. You can't copy and paste between worlds anymore. You have to use schematics. But yeah, I ripped it just straight out of the tutorial world, so everything should work out A-OK, -okay, shouldn't it? Well... I would have thought so. I really see no way for this to actually be like location based. Um, but what do you know? It must be location based. And this, unfortunately, is oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't actually know what the problem is, how I'm going to solve it. I've got like one other thing I can try. Well, what do you know? It turns out I'm a big idiot. So I was like looking around being like, what is it? Is it maybe the interaction of the blocks black back here? I was taking those out and I was like, ah, couldn't quite figure it out. The whole time I'd been looking at areas like this being like, how does it detect? How does it detect? Uh, even a couple of times had done some stuff like this. I'm going to do that again just for the you know, reasons of uh, resetting. Uh, and there was even this line down here. Similar process. What What's going on here? How is it supposed to detect what is going on? It is, of course, the fly machine that's wrong. I need to put that there. That's it. All, all of that troubles... I, I hadn't followed anything wrong. Well, I had right back at the beginning. I hadn't got anything wrong here. And now I face all these things that are wrong, are the wrong colour. I'm going to have to get my uh, copy and paste wizardry on here. I reckon I reckon I can change a few of these. Use some fill commands to uh, to swap stuff out. In fact, let, let's try and do that. I'm going to go slash fill. Oh, no. If I can type correctly, slash fill that bit. Uh, and then we want to come down here. Uh, want to bring... A little bit of a working block down here. Do we want to go a little further? No, that's where we want to go. We'll take this. Now, we actually want to get wool in on number four because I love it like that. Replace uh, iron. Iron block, no less. Bam. Okay, so that's one of the things I wanted to do. Uh, I suppose we can leave these slabs. There's nothing really too detrimental about that. Now, I want to replace this glazed terracotta. Uh, so let's try and do that. Now, I'm going to guess... Uh, no, is it glazed? No. Maybe I'll get there eventually. Let me do some searches. Oh, you've got to put the colour in first. Look, top right over there. Pink glazed terracotta. Okay. Oh, that's so they're all different colors. Is this what we're being told here? So they're all going to have different rotations on them as well. So this will be yellow. Yeah, yeah yellow. Do, do we not have it? Glazed terra. Ah, so you can go between flower. Show. I've got to give it a, an idea of where to go. Okay, that's fine. And we want to replace the pink stuff. So let's come back here. Pink glazed terracotta, if you could, please. Bam. Okay. A whole load of stuff just happened there. Why do things happen? Things should not have happened. Look at this. What is this? Are you real? You're not real. You're not real. Are you real? Okay, cool. Okay, so now that I've gone around and done all of that, I need to start thinking about the floor layouts. Now, I'm fairly sure I want a path coming sort of this way and going over there. And we can split off little rooms around. I'm not sure whether we'll go all the way to the end here. There's going to be uh, maybe a set of stairs going up to another floor here. Now, because of the way these elevators take up quite a bit of space top to bottom, I'm going to have to actually stagger uh, odd and even floors because there's, there's not quite enough room when we get up to the top floors. But if we go like this, we can definitely get all the even floors and all the odd floors down. So I think that should work out pretty well. I've also got to give some thought to what happens if things get broken, how we can uh, have an automatic uh, re refix. I think what I might do is copy and paste the entire thing, this entire double elevator shaft down below, and then if anything goes wrong, I just walk in and hit a button somewhere and that will copy everything back. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on with this stuff. I will be back when I've got a few ideas. I missed, I missed the bar. Uh... I think we're going to start every segment out here. I mean, just look how majestic that is. I'm really going to drive that point home today. We're we definitely going to know that this is a majestic setup. But we've got some windows over there. And in those windows, there is a lot of machinery. And I'm not sure whether I appreciate that or not. I mean, it's nice to be able to see what's going on. But at the same time, it probably would lend more to the building if they were filled in with some grey or maybe even some brown. I'm not... 
I'm not sure exactly what color I would put in there, but you can see I've done a little bit more on the theming in here. Everything's coming along quite nice. I've got some sort of idea of a logo. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I, it's a striking logo. I just don't know whether it's for here, you know? Uh, separated the hotel side from the restaurant side. Tempting to put a little doorway here, but also have a door here, and then make it some sort of like, you know, it's an outside public area as also being part of the hotel uh, you can come along here and finally this this is just this is just working perfectly uh, hopefully it's not it you know now that I've said it's working perfectly it's gonna like completely mess up for me and not demonstrate its ability I don't I don't hear it moving I don't hear it moving at all ah what is going so the elevator ooh. No, it is working. I was about to say the elevator is proving to be less than reliable, but I, I do stand corrected. The only problem is when the flying machine gets down here, look at it. The the frames are unbelievable. Uh, and, and I hope that's not a permanent thing. Like, there's, there's not much signal being carried up and down. It is literally just the flying machine itself. So I don't know if I need to... I don't know, provide some light in here or not provide some light in here. So maybe, maybe the lighting updates are the problem, uh, but we can fly up and down absolutely fine. And on this side, it's all amazingly good. If we come up, we go click. Okay, that's cool. But unfortunately, and I, I really don't know why, on this side, stuff happens but nothing actually happens, and that, that stays like that for a little time. So you can see here that I've started thinking about the layout of the actual floor space, and we're going to have a sort of a generic generic feel to it. Do we want to have a generic feel to it? I think we do want to have a generic feel. Now, I've not had uh, a look at these new types of beds. Now, which bed is going to fit the most with the decor we have been going with? I'm, I'm either feeling the yellow or the orange. Oh, we can have a triple bed here. So that's the orange. There's the yellow. I like the way they go down as red first and then change their color. Like that? No, no, no. I, I don't think that's how that's going to work. I, I would like to get the bed in here somewhere. Oh, look, there's a nice little spot here we could put it, but I, I'm not really feeling that. I kind of just want to have it... Ah, oh, maybe maybe facing this way, so you can look out the window, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, now we want some sort of, like, side table arrangement. Now, traditionally, uh, trapdoors have been the ones to go for. And I kind of like wood in the bedroom. I, I don't know about you. I, th I feel that's the, the way that it would be. I, I do kind of feel it's the way it would be. Now, we could either do that. Or somehow we could make that not seem quite so floaty. But we'll put them there as some placeholders. Uh, I'm liking this. I feel like this is a chest area. This is going to be the sort of place where people will come down and have a good old look through. See if there is anything to be found there. Maybe some banners either side. Something like that. One of the things I do like. Let's grab a couple of... Um, Let's go birch doors. I, I do quite like it. Uh, let's put these here and these here. No, no, no. Here. Or do we just do the one? Let's just do the one. Uh, you can put these down. Not like that. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, put this down. These like that. And then grab the iron ones. Because they don't move uh, when... Well, when right-clicked. I don't know why I jumped there. That's, that's it. Wait, look at that. And I'm all the way up. That That is a new climbing technique. Learn it here first. Door climbing. Let's... I can't can't do it this way. You can't put doors on doors. Okay, well that that's a thing. Uh, and what we're we gonna put on top? Let's uh, let's get another trap door. Of course, the iron trap door. A little bit of furniture really brings the place to life. No? Yes? There we go. Awesome. So it's almost a, a cupboard thing. Kind of feel like I've put this in the wrong spot. Hey, I'm breaking blocks as well. That's that's even better. Thankfully, I've got the majority of the stuff on me. I didn't grab another chest. Let's try it here. Here? Here. Let's try the double one. Let's see if the, we can get away with it. Do, do I not place it like that? Bump, bump. Is that is that right? That is right. Okay, so this... Is it too much? Is it too in the way? It is too much. It is too in the way. That That's unfortunate. Uh, something like yo and one of those. That's a little bit better. 
not so sold on this now. Maybe a banner on the side instead. But that that's a nice bit of furniture. Nice uh, nice wall here. Maybe feeling a little bit of a table there. Maybe feeling a little bit of a table. Let's have a look at some uh, stairs. I'm thinking quartz stairs are going to be the winner. Maybe. I mean, we could actually put a little bit of... I don't know, we'll, we'll try that in a second. I mean, that, that looks pretty good, actually. Carpet. I would have... Um, considered another one I, I, I don't I don't feel that gray let's try the black can match with the back oh no oh, oh no 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 that that that's horrible um orange is a strong theme in this house in this this house this uh this hotel so let's go with that instead does that feel a little bit better that that feels much better obviously all these oranges are going to be uh swapped out what have we got under here Ooh, hi. Another another room. So if we're going to have pretty much these being copies of each other, if we take this out and replace it with some prismarine, I think we should be able to get ourselves a nice little shower area. Now the question, of course, is do we swap out these blocks as well? But we can come down here now. And it doesn't look too odd if we put this down the bottom and then we have exactly the same up top because it's the shower area. It's the bathroom, right? The bathroom has a funny floor and a funny ceiling. You know what? I'm going to grab some uh, prismarine brick. I don't know if this is going to be great or not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Uh, let's get rid of all of those. Maybe some dark prismarine would go better. <sighs> Oh no, did you did you see that? Wanton destruction there. Absolutely disgraceful. Okay, so that's that's kind of given me a feel for what's going on. I think I need to get a few more things going on down this side, put up some walls maybe, and think about how it's going to translate to these. I'll be back when I've uh, rolled it out a little bit. Okay, so the rooms have been given a bit more of a filled out layout. You can see we've got some chests over here. The shower room has been kind of filled. I'm tempted to go with the idea of putting a dispenser in the roof and then having a button or a switch next to it and it uh, flows water down upon you. Uh, some rooms you have to be what weary of the... Uh, some, uh, concrete powder that's it I was gonna try I was kept on trying to call it cement powder and whilst yes technically right still not right uh, obviously here is the uh, the, the lootable areas uh, and it kind of just feels nice I kind of feel like we're missing a bookshelf now that I have a, a walk around and you may have noticed the ceiling is a little, little bit lower that is because we are of course up on the higher floors here uh, and, and I've uh, copied this out across all the rooms or at least copied the style out you can see it best why can't I fly there we go uh, you can see it best up here on the top floor where I haven't quite put all the ceiling up. You'll remember that I was talking about this lift uh, having a problem with the call button not working. Uh, I have discovered why. I was explaining to a friend uh, the problem I was having uh, and I was also explaining that this, this there's a little issue here that I've got where there's like one block on this side but two on this side. An alarm bell should have been ringing there. They really really should have but if we come along here magenta block redstone dust observer right? magenta redstone dust wall now i'm not sure whether i'm bothered about this because let's be honest it's a zombie apocalypse i could quite easily make oh problems happened there uh, i could quite easily make it oh I'm so i'm gonna have to disable that button or something uh, i could quite easily make it so that the i throw myself off that the lift just doesn't have a cool function there's no reason why not Bye bye. I'll have to go and disable a few things so stuff like that doesn't happen. But it should be easy enough. I'll I'll fix that. I'll fix that at some point. Uh, downstairs, we've kind of fleshed out this little side bit here a little bit. I kind of like the the uh, the indent. It makes it not quite so boring when you're looking outside of the window. And over this side, I've started roughing up the area and giving it a little bit more texture, a few fence posts and stuff like that. And I've put this on the floor. Now, this isn't actually hooked up to any command blocks at the moment, but here is a small parkour course. It is uh, frightfully difficult, but I have tested and managed to complete every jump even though I can't even do this one whilst recording of course ah, so yeah possible oh I didn't know you could jump to that hacks but you can kind of work your way up here uh, I'm kind of just fleshing it out at the moment I want this to be the main entrance to this 
not not top floor but penultimate floor you can see how the elevators don't actually come up here I know I want that to be the way you get in here uh, this one will be saved for elytra entry only I also want to know if there's a way of making this not elytra enterable and en enterable you, you know what I'm saying is there a way that I can put something over the door that means I don't know kill elytra flies but people who walk can go through perhaps I don't know do you collide with reeds with an elytra or something like that I, I'm not entirely certain I'm not entirely certain uh, down here fleshed out sort of the 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 bare bones of how I feel everything should go down. We are running out of time, so I'm not going to be able to actually detail all of this up, but the main problems I have to address, that big hole there, the fact that the ceiling needs to come down, needs to have a, a, a layer put all over it to make it work because obviously there's a lot of detail coming through from the ceiling. Uh, I've got one of those fancy come and watch my chef's cook kitchens back here and uh, extra bit of seating. I, th I think that's what's going to go there. I, we need a freestanding sculpture. Perhaps like one of those zombies that I've uh, had built out in the middle of nowhere but kind of strap strapped down looking at the ceiling so when you look up there's a zombie strapped to the ceiling I don't know that's an idea and obviously of course the uh, the shops around here need to be filled out but with that I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this building adventure I will see you next time where mainly we're gonna be dealing with the details of this we do of course have a little quest line to put in if I can remember where it is if we come over here you can see I've got signs up on the wall there and a great big hole in the wall there these are gonna be the two rooms for the quest that I want to put down for the tribe but I will see you then when we're gonna do all of that bye it's really hard to fly backwards bye